All right, welcome back. This is a review for Fruits Basket 2019, episode 12. Uh, so this episode goes over Momiji and Hatsuharu now being um, first year students in their uh, high school with Yuki, Yuki Torukio and then Uo and Hana now being second years. Um, and of course the first half of the episode is definitely more comedic based in that we see that we finally get to see Momiji and Hatsuharu. Momiji is running around in, well he's wearing the, the top of the girl's uniform but then he's wearing just a dark blue pair of shorts and then a hat that's kind of similar in color to um, the, the, the female uh, uh, school uniform. Uh, and then Hatsuharu has uh, a lot of different earrings, not earrings, but different neck necklaces and stuff like that. And then we get the, we get, I know some people worried about the, um, there's some people that were, I guess they didn't, maybe they just didn't know if it was in the manga or they were going, well, hopefully they don't take it out, which I would, would have been surprised if they did, which is the entirety of the horrors, how, how to prove her, your true hair color scene, <laughs> which was in the original and of course is in this one as well. And it's, it's still just as hilarious as before. Um, I mean, with the Haru final, with, you know, the, the student council president coming up and being like, oh, you can't do that, you can't wear those things. And then Haru finally going black and then yelling at him and then it, uh, it's just, <laughs> and then the, the entire thing of Haru manipulating and being like, hey, look, woman, well, the, the two ladies over there, D don't you think he looks cute? Don't you think Momiji looks cute in his little, uh, the girl's uniform? You should wear what he likes to, what looks good on men, him, and then when he finally matures and grows up, he'll, then he can start wearing the men's uniform. And, and then the whole thing where, uh, the, uh, the, him doing pretty much saying, oh, well, the, the student council president being like, oh, no, it's, that's still not right. And he's like, well, what if it's Yuki's in a, Yuki in a girl uniform? It's, and the entirety of that sequence is just absolutely hilarious. And, oh, it's it's so good. And then, of course, we get the opposite end of the episode, which is, um, it turns out that Akito actually showed up to the school uh, for, the, for Haru and Momiji's entrance ceremony. And we actually get to see a little, kind of little glimpse of that. Uh, which was a little little bit of an added scene where Toru was, you know, sitting, or not saying, she's standing in front of the window talking to Uo and Hana and Kyo, and she sees the little car drive up, but then she doesn't really see who gets out of it. That is a slightly added scene, because that wasn't in the manga at all. But it, it kind of, it kind of, uh, I, I think it's fine. I think it works out. Um, because it gives them a little bit more, um, you know, that something might, that, that something might be going on. But you don't know what yeah, exactly. And then, of course, Akito shows up. Uh, and you get to find out a little bit more of Yuki and see that. Because um, Tor runs into Akito. And then Yuki runs up and is like, hey, you're not, you have, what What are you doing? And Yuki's like, oh, I was just saying hi, which, he, which Akito was just saying hi at the time. He was just saying hi. And, um... But you get to see just how tormented Akito had, or just how tormented Yuki is by Akito, or has been tormented by Akito. Um, that you know he got locked up in this dark room, and that he was um, basically tortured in it. I will. I I know more details since I've read the manga, so I won't go into them at the moment. You'll definitely find out about a lot more of those details later. Uh, but one of the great things about this is that um, this entire sequence is that you get Toru comes in and she's standing there watching and she's 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 watching as Yuki is shaking and he can't move and he's freaking out and as as and all Kido is doing is just has his hand on Yuki's face. And just talking to him. And, I mean, obviously very maliciously talking to him and threatening him, saying, hey, do I need to re-educate you? Don't, this is what, this is what you, I'm, if you don't behave yourself, I'm going to send you back, maybe I should send you back to that room uh, so that I can re-educate you uh, for, you know, skipping out on um, New Year's and such. And Toru, not entirely, of course, sure what they're saying. She just 
she doesn't know what they're saying, but she does see Yuki's expression and 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 everything. And Toru puts herself between them. She she pushes Akito out of the way and is she comes up with the excuse of oh we're going to be late for school we gotta for class and we don't want to get in trouble so we gotta go and of course Akito goes okay fine and he walks away and of course as he's walking away he sees Kyo from the distance and Kyo just stares at him with like this super like I'm going to potentially murder you look um if if you pretty much if you had didn't if you done if you have done anything to her I wouldn't hurt you uh, at least I, that's how I kind of interpreted it. But it's also just Kyo staring at Akito for reasons. Um, and Tor goes, I, I'm scared of Akito. I don't know what Akito's going to do. Um, and, but the important thing is, she, she was kind of concentrating more on Akito, but then she realized, no, the important thing is right here and now, I need to get Yuki's mind off of this. I need to um, I need I need to help him so that he isn't this isn't bothering him. I need to help him out. And so of course she says since they were planning on meeting up with her friends anyway, uh, with uh, so that Momiji and Hatsuhara could meet them. Uh, she's like, hey, how about we go and play badminton? And she tries to get his mind off of it. And of course. She, it works, and we get this little sequence that, you know, when me, not me, Luigi, uh, Yuki's been looking for a place, as, as, he, as the ending monologue is, that he's been looking for a place that um, is warm. He's been looking for family in a lot of ways. And he's finally found it with Toru and, a, a sense, a, along with a, the other Soma family members that he's kind of grown up, grown a little bit closer to now since Toru has been coming to their lives, but... It's thanks to Toru that he's kind of started to form a little, an actual family with his actual, like, clan family, <laughs> funny enough. And then, of course, uh, Hatsuharu thanks, uh, thanks Toru, saying, hey, you know, thanks for looking out for him and making sure that he, because he seems to be better now. And then, of course, we get this brief sequence with, um, Hattori and Shigure, and Shigure saying that Akito, even though in the sequence when Toru and Kito met, Kito said, oh, Toru's very pretty and feminine and very kind. She, and, but then when Akito was talking to Shigure, he said that, uh, you know, you know Kito, that she's at, that Toru's actually very ugly and she's stupid and that I don't have to worry about anything because I, I can most likely bring, I should be able to bring, uh, Yuki back with, with, um, because, to me because he still obviously can't forget everything that um, happened to him. I still have a hold on him. And uh, of course the commentary of that which Hattori says and it's just, this is very true that ob the thing that Kito doesn't understand is that if, yes if you can be hurt by someone you can also be healed by someone as well. Um, and of course that's a very true statement but uh, it's it's nice to have it reassured in the series so that you know that it's not just them be like, oh man, you know, that, that they, it's not that they agree with Akito on this, that they go, no, Akito's wrong about this. This isn't how it is supposed to be. Um, but I mean, pretty much, uh, it's a, it's a very emotionally gripping episode because it starts off very funny and very light and then it gets into a lot more of an emotionally hitting to where it, it comes at you and it definitely throws some punches at you. Um, other than that though, I mean, it pretty much plays out exactly how it does in the manga and in the even original anime for that most part. Cause this is, well, this is one of the few episodes that was pretty much animated the correct way, even in the original. Uh, but yes, this is, but, uh, it's going to be a little while. It's gonna be a while, a little while, I'll say that much, until Toru meets Akito again. But in the meantime, it, it'll be good to have a, in the storyline for characters, it'll be good to have them distance from Akito. Um, other than that, though, it's gonna be next episode. Ooh boy, next episode is gonna be fun. <laughs> um, but other than that, really, that's really about it. So um, thanks for watching, and bye for now.